Well, uh, these uh, potholes we have been talking about, others have been dry, others have been wet, and the minister joked that uh, he's going to start with those ones that have a lot of water. There are some which are bummy. They have bums. And she, he was alleging that uh, the dry ones are from West Nile. We don't agree. <laughs> but it's good that money should be given to UNRWA to do a good job. I want to bring to the attention of the committee. In 2018, the government compensated landowners around the rural airfield. And there were remaining about six people. But up to today, nobody is talking about the balance to be paid to the people so that they vacate the place. Narua. And the Arua airfield is the biggest, second biggest after Entebbe. Don't know why people don't want to speak the facts. Eh? It has the highest traffic in this country after Entebbe. So let's do the right things. Consider upgrading Arua airfield. I also want to say, the 1 billion ceilings we are giving to the districts is going to solve a lot of problems. It is that money under Uganda Road Fund, because we have a legal framework under which this money can be managed properly. A district can decide to buy equipment. 1 billion can buy a grade and you begin from there. The next financial year, you do another thing. So this quarrel of we don't have equipment will be addressed using the 1 billion ceilings through the road fund.